Hey friends, welcome to day three of our awesome Disney World Resort hopping staycation. We've already marked off the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian and here is our third stop, the Wilderness Lodge. I am so excited. Definitely one of my favorite resorts. I've actually come here and just sat in the lobby for hours because I'm just so mesmerized by it. Let's go do this. If you guys watched the Polynesian video, you might remember at the end when I did the sunrise B-roll that the top of the Wilderness Lodge was actually in it. The sun came up over that perfectly and I actually recorded it all the way from the Poly so it's neat that we're here now. This was also the second resort that I actually visited after the parks reopened. I came and I ate at Whispering Canyon Cafe and gave you a little bit of a tour. So today, I'm gonna try to focus on things I didn't focus on in that video. Top of the list for me of lobbies, actually anywhere. This is definitely, hands down, one of my favorite lobbies. And with all great Disney World resorts, it's got a signature smell to it. Kind of like a pine smell. I'm Italian, like a pine. It might be because of all the wood furnishing in here. It also has some of the best furniture in the lobby I've ever seen. Take a look at this beauty. Top to bottom. It is also one of the only places that I would consider sitting in front of a fireplace on a hot July day. I'm gonna head on over to check-in and I'm gonna try to put in a request for the highest level possible, but it's a little late in the day, so it might be slim pickings on what's available. And that's my fault because I got here a little bit late. I initially was on the first floor, but they actually moved me to the third because I said I was trying to get a little bit higher up to get some good views, which is really awesome. I love how Disney is so nice and accommodating and we're staying in the Copper Creek Villas, so we're gonna have a beautiful view. No sense on waiting, let's just go check out the room. Bada bing, bada boom. I love these elevators too. Look at this. Look at that. Ha! Three please. I opted to get the room with the stand-up shower because you guys have probably seen in the previous vlogs. I'm a big fan of the stand-up shower. I cannot get over all of the theming that actually happens in this resort. Just the hallways alone are just decked out beautifully. Even the little lights. I love it. And also as I'm walking actually down the hallway, this carpet is so soft. It's so soft. I actually walked from the main lobby and realized that there was a set of elevators right next to my room, which is really convenient but that was actually a very far distance. I'm a little shocked. I wasn't expecting that at all. There is our room, 3121. Boop. Hands down, the best smelling room so far. I am like, wow. As soon as I walked in, it kind of just wafted in my face and I was like, <sighs> it also is probably one of the more modern places I've stayed so far. Like, this stuff looks like it's all brand new. They must have just remodeled. Oh, I didn't even know that opens like that. I thought I was pulling it open. Would you look at that? <laughs> A little peek see into the closet. Got your usuals, extra pillows, wall safe, iron, all that good stuff. The kitchen area right here. Nice little fridge. Fully stocked. Nice microwave. The bathroom is behind that mirror. Look at this. This is a huge door, isn't it? Wow, very nice. I like this. I mean, I like this a lot. The shower. This is what I was talking about. So you have the option to choose a traditional like tub or a walk-in shower. Oh, wow, it's a heavy door too. And I'm glad I went with that because I've been loving these showers. They also have like a little tiny resting area or a chest and some extra storage. It's a good spot to put your shoes on. The dresser is very nifty too. 
Look at those handles. Nice clean and sanitized remote. A little bit of Stacy. And check that out. That's a nice picture. All of the offerings they have at the Wilderness Lodge. The bed is actually really nice as well. I like the headboard. Oh, I think that's real wood. Four pillows here too. So far the Polynesian is the pillow king. Six pillows at the Polynesian, four at the Grand Floridian, and four here too. And that is definitely probably the newest looking couch I've seen so far. I like the little artwork they have on the back wall. A very spacious area rug. And then a little cozy corner to maybe have a bite to eat. This mirror is nice though. Ooh, and I like the way that light looks. I hope it doesn't seem like I breeze through the room walkthroughs. I just kind of like to show a quick glimpse of them. I don't want to go into full detail. Some people really need the full detail because you're paying a lot of money. You want to know what you're getting for. But the most important things with the rooms, I feel, are the views, the beds, the bathrooms, and just the overall design of them. I could probably care less if there was a Keurig or just a regular Mr. Coffee pot, but that's just my preference. Some people really want to know and they have their right because they pay a lot for these rooms. But the biggest thing for me is always the balcony and the views. I just enjoy sitting on the balcony and looking out. I mean, you guys should know this by now. You definitely know how I like to do things. I love watching sunrises, sunsets, and just taking in the ambience of the resort itself. So we're gonna see how we did here. Like I said, I, I couldn't put in a room request. The only thing is they got me to move up to the third floor instead of the first one. I like that actual curtain rod too. Oh, I think we got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken, dinner. Oh yeah. That is a view right there. A little bit of the pool, and then also, we got the sunrise. We got the sunrise. It's gonna come up right there. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Look at all those pine trees. I feel like I'm back in Pennsylvania. And plus, we got a pretty interesting pool view. Oh, but listen to the music they're playing out there. A little Bonnie Tyler. Oh, would you look at that? There's nothing I can say. A total eclipse of the hearts. The best thing about the Wilderness Lodge, though, is even if you do not get an amazing view, which this view is actually amazing. Like, if you're on the other side, you're facing Boulder Ridge, uh, you can still come to the main lobby and there are so many nook and crannies on each level where you can actually come out and enjoy and see some pretty spectacular views. The balcony itself is definitely a little bit smaller than the other resorts we stayed at. I think it's because of the bulky wood that they actually have, which is cool because that's very pretty to look at. To me, I think it is. I also like the patio furniture out here. If I was to rank them all so far, I would go Poly here and then Grand Floridian. The Grand Floridian's patio furniture or balcony furniture was just kind of metal, wasn't too comfortable, but these are like a little mesh. Normally, I would probably just sit out on the balcony, drink a beer and shoot some very fancy B-roll to show you guys my perspective. But since we're here, we're gonna actually hop around a little bit and I'm gonna show you all the different angles and cool little nooks where you can actually just sit down and enjoy amazing views because this resort is literally the definition of beautiful views. Oh, the jungle VIP I've reached the top and had to stop And that's what's bothering me I want to be a man, man cop And stroll right into town And be just like the other men I'm tired of walking around Oh,
I hope you guys enjoyed that. It is so magnificent here. If you want to watch uh, my full walk through the resort, uh, go back and actually check the video out where I came here to eat at Whispering Canyon Cafe. I kind of gave it a little bit more of a detailed. Now I'm just showing you the highlights, but that video has like basically a whole walk through. So check that out if you'd like. Can we just stop and actually appreciate the scenery here at the Wilderness Lodge? Isn't it gorgeous? It really makes you feel like you're escaping to the wilderness and that's what I like about it. Our room is actually right there. So we are right behind the waterfall. Still very beautiful. I want to head on down to Geyser Point and actually stare at Bay Lake for a little bit. I absolutely love it here. I kind of giggle on the inside every time I'm here. It just makes me feel good and then I'm staying here tonight. That's even better. Normally the geyser shoots off every single hour and it probably goes about 20 maybe 25 feet in the air But for some reason they said it's not actually blowing its full geyser effect and it's only doing just a very little bit I think that has to do with Social distancing. I don't know or maybe it's just broken and that's just a good way to say it but regardless, it's still a very pretty area that you want to come out and just look about because it's just gorgeous down here. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is where I was excited to go. Out by Bay Lake at Geyser Point. Very relaxed, chill environment down here. Look at that pretty little creek leading into Bay Lake. I like it. Isn't this just beautiful out here? I love it. Now I think I'm going to head back to the room, swap out the battery, and probably get something to eat. Since I've eaten at Whispering Canyon before, I think I'm going to try the Warren Fork, which is the quick service location. And I've seen that they had some pulled pork. I might be interested in that. I don't want to jinx myself, but this might be the first resort stay I've had so far where I didn't get rained on. I'm feeling really fancy back in the room and I can't believe how dark it is now like it is completely dark and that's so strange because usually when you have like a balcony view it's like kind of lighted up I mean the pool area is still open but look at all of that oh some lightning I've already placed my order at Roaring Fork for my pulled pork sandwich it says 10 hours it was smoked for I'm excited to try it, but I can't get over how amazing it smells in this room. Like, if they make a scent for this room, like I know there's like magic candy, like the magic candle company and stuff like that, I kind of want to get it. It's so funny because just a couple of moments ago we were up on the balcony and I said the pool was open and then the lightning actually happened and now the pool's closed. Pool's closed, folks. Oh, and they also have some fancy lighting for the waterfall here. I like that. Very pretty. I'm pretty sure since I mobile ordered, all you have to do is just tell them my name and I pick it right up or they have it already prepared in a bag. We'll find out either way. Yeah, look at that. The car is going to be right down the way. Thank you. I decided, since there wasn't much seating actually happening down by Roaring Fork, I was going to take my pulled pork and eat it in front of the fireplace with a view. Look at that, Nathan Morrow. This seems like a perfect place to enjoy a pulled pork. I take back what I said. It is way too hot to be eating in front of a fireplace. Holy moly. <laughs> Instead, we're going to go back out to our secret patio or balcony and kind of watch the lightning storm happening. Well, that was such a great decision to go out there and actually eat on the balcony out front. The lightning storm was actually really cool to watch and the pulled pork was pretty delicious. I mean, it was just a typical quick service pulled pork. Nothing really fancy to it. They had a 10 hour in front of it, but kind of just tasted like a regular pulled pork sandwich you'd get anywhere. Now I am back in my room. I am gonna probably hit the sack here, go to bed, wake up early, watch the sunrise. 
I'm sorry, I know I'm very scripted, but it's just the way that I like to do things. I like to come to the resorts, enjoy the stay, look at the views, and just overall enjoy the resort itself. So, uh, sunrise in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It is 5. Yeah, 5, 5 a.m. Coffee, sunrise, coffee. I forgot to even set the pot this morning or last night. Oh, I'm going to plug this one in. Oh, I like that. There we go. Mr. Coffee. I'm a little bit undecisive. I know that I can actually see the sunrise from the balcony of the room, but the pool lights are kind of distracting me. So I don't know if I want to start at the balcony and then make my way down maybe by the boat dock. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's really cool to watch it from the balcony itself, but like I said, the pool lights are like really blurry. And I don't know what time they actually shut those lights off, but that's what I was talking about. Oh. Oh, I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drink my coffee, start the sunrise here, and then actually go down by Bay Lake in the waterfront and get some really nice shots there because I also want to go explore around the resort and show you a little bit of Walt Disney history because there's some place special that I personally have not been to yet and I really want to go to that's actually here at the Wilderness Lodge. And I forgot my French vanilla creamer. This'll do though. It always does the trick. Nothing like waking up with Joffrey's in your cup. The strange thing is, I wouldn't say I am a morning type of guy. I just like exploring the resorts when there's nobody around. And the early in the morning is the best time. I mean, I am like bright and cheery, but that's because I don't sleep that much. I'm happy that we decided to come out and watch the sunrise from the back area of the resort. I mean, it's pretty awesome to be able to sit on your balcony and look at it, but this might be a little bit better. I recommend come out to the boat dock where you actually take the boats over to the Magic Kingdom because this is beautiful. This is going to be an epic sunrise. I'm so excited for this. This is where the early planning is taking place for our so-called uh, Disney World project. As you can see on this map, we have a perfect location in Florida. We selected this site because it's so easy for tourists and Florida residents to get here by automobile. But the basic philosophy of what we're planning for Disney World is going to remain very much as it is right now. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. I really have to say, I think that was my favorite sunrise so far. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is your favorite sunrise so far. We had the Poly, the Grand Floridian, the Wilderness Lodge. We still have more resort stays, but up to this moment, what was your favorite? I absolutely loved it. I was really in the moment and I was feeling it. Like, I was like, kind of like 
giddy-ish. Like I had a really good feeling in my chest and a smile on my face. Anywho's, I have to get back up to the room now though because I got eaten alive on that boat dock. It didn't even bother me because I was just so happy to see what I was looking at and I was sweating all over the place. Totally worth it though, absolutely worth it. And just for educational purposes, this is what our view would have been if I just stayed on the balcony. Still very pretty, but nothing compared to what we just witnessed. Now I'm all showered up, change of clothes, I feel fresh, I feel clean. That shower is amazing. All the stand-up showers are, I absolutely love them. So, we're going to actually head on over to Boulder Ridge and I wanted to show you a little bit of Walt Disney history that's actually inside the resort itself. Now that we're actually back down in the main lobby area, we're going to go out here to the Boulder Ridge section which is a separate DVC resort that has amazing Walt Disney history. A lot of people have mentioned before that when I wear my Mickey mask, I kind of look like Humphrey the Bear from the Wilderness Lodge. What do you guys think? I can definitely see it a little bit. I'm not even 100% sure which way I'm going. I've never actually been down here. I've only seen pictures before and I've always wanted to see it. Today's the day. Oh wow, this is pretty. I like this little walkway. Look at the scenery. I was definitely not expecting all of this. Like I said, I've never even been in Boulder Ridge before, but I really like it in here. This is pretty spectacular. Lots of nifty looking furniture and wilderness decor. Those couches look pretty comfy too. I love it when you find something pretty awesome that you haven't seen before. This is really sweet. Look at all the animal carvings. They have literally two on each corner. That is some craftsmanship right there. And here is what I'm talking about, the Carrollwood Pacific Room. Now we gotta find what we are looking for here. Ooh. If you're not familiar with what Carrollwood Pacific is, it was actually Walt Disney's own miniature train that he had in his backyard that he actually used to ride around in his Carrollwood estate in California. That's really nifty, isn't it? I think one of the coolest things is Walt Disney's obsession with transportation. I always admired that about him because I am a big transportation buff myself. I think that's why I like Disney World so much. And take a look at this. This is a film shot of him actually riding his Carrollwood Pacific train. And there is a piece of the film reel itself. This was from 1950. This whole room is just dedicated to Walt and his love of locomotives. It's so beautiful, isn't it? I really like this. Oh, and they have amazing recliners. Take a look at this. The Lily Bell. Oh, that is awesome. And then up here you can see his little train set up actually in his backyard. Some real cool Disney history right here. And where the real history is, is right behind the camera here. This is something so historical and has such a great meaning just because of what it is. These are two of the original freight cars owned by Walt Disney himself. These are the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad right here. These were his. He actually probably sat in that. And the crazy thing is, is this was actually made prior to Disneyland. So Disneyland was probably a concept, but this was his first attraction. This was his first railroad. Before the Disneyland Railroad, before the Walt Disney World Railroad, this is the one. Give you a little look at the sign right here 
so that you can get a good idea of just how important these actual freight cars are. It's mind blowing. This room might actually be one of my favorite resort rooms. I really like it in here just because of the history and also because of the decor and the furniture. I'm actually going to test out this rocking chair. This is a rocking chair. Oh boy. I could probably sit here for hours. Hours I say. Just sit here, rocking back and forth. The fireplace isn't lit, but I'm sure it's really nice when it's lit. But one of the best things about Boulder Ridge is these cabins. Let me tell you something. This is probably the top of my list right here. The Polynesian bungalows and this as places I want to stay unbelievable we're gonna actually take you inside and show you with them and here it is this is it folks this is the one the dream resort this is spectacular I'm so excited we're gonna actually show you it this is unbelievable here like I can live here for the rest of my life that's how unbelievable it is probably cost millions of dollars right in the entrance way you can just see so many bedrooms and doors oh wow look at that view out the window gigantic walk-in closets like this is an apartment or like actually it's a home another bedroom right across the way here that is a gorgeous mattress huge hutch nice tv oh my word is that the bathroom tv in the mirror that's how i like it look at that stand-up shower and it's like basically connected to the tub which is a jacuzzi tub that is deep and then on the other side of that other room, we've got a bathroom here. This is a nice bathroom too. That mirror is nice. Wow. Fully equipped with a washer and dryer. Huge closet spaces, even a laundry basket. That's nifty. And this is the living room area. Holy moly. This is breathtaking in here. That fireplace is actually see-through. You can see right out the other side of it. I like this so much this is the dream resort here the fridge is huge holy moly what do you guys think of this place it's mind-blowing isn't it like i said i could live here i can legit live here this could be your outdoor patio Listen to the music. Look at that view. Look at that hot tub. Oh, wow. And then you have another side of the patio and this is where you see the fireplace actually on the other side. So you can sit outside and enjoy the fireplace or sit inside. And this one connects right into the master bedroom. Look at that. And how many people do you think sit at that table? I mean, this is gigantic. Board games, we'd have a great time here. 
if I had this place, I would invite all of my friends and we would just hang out and spend the night and literally enjoy all of the wilderness surrounding the Wilderness Lodge. I'm super happy I got to show you guys that. I hope you enjoyed this little room tour. It's like a bonus. And with that, I think I'm done here. I really enjoyed myself. Beautiful resort. The sunrise was spectacular. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this video. And uh, also, I wanted to thank Sandy and Jerry. They made it possible for me to actually stay here. I am so appreciative of uh, all of the resort stays that people have given me. And uh, I feel honored. And that's why I take so much time and quality into making not just like a resort stay video, but like I, I always want to do something like special and memorable. And the people that give me these resort stays, they could say, hey, I was a part of that. And I know that doesn't mean a lot, but to me it does because I would have never been able to do it without them. So until the next resort, which should be next, I'll see you guys. Bye.